So welcome. Happy Sabbath. So willkommen und gesegneten Sabbat. Let's open with a silent prayer. Lasst uns mit einem stillen Gebet anfangen. So I have the notes in the live stream group. The title Casting Out Devils. Okay, so I hope by the end of this presentation we have uh, re established and strengthened some understandings we already have. So I hope that at the end of this Vortrag, that we Verständnisse, die wir bereits haben, ähm, vertieft haben und äh, ja, wieder erfrischt haben. Because the Lord shows the same things over and over again from different perspectives. Right? Der Herr zeigt denselben Wahrheiten wieder und wieder nur von anderen Sichtweisen her. Okay, so let's begin first um, in the story when the disciples were on the lake with so, Jesus. Lasst uns zuerst anfangen die Geschichte, wo die Jungen am Seeseite standen mit Jesus. No, they were on the sea. Also die waren auf das Meer. In the boat or in the ship. Also im Boot. So let's begin in Mark 4, verse 35 to 41. Das ist Markus 4, Verse 35 bis 41. It says, And the same day, when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there, there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they wake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose, and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Okay, so <coughs> we have this uh, illustration here. Okay. Wir haben diese Darstellung hier. And we know it's a similar illustration as, this, as in the story of Jonah, right? Wir wissen, das ist eine ähnliche Darstellung wie in der Geschichte von Jonah. Okay, and... Um, yeah, when Jonah gets cast into the sea, what, what happens to him? Und wenn Jonah ins Meer geworfen wird, was geschieht mit ihm? Well, there's a great calm, but then yes. the fish swallows him. Yeah. So eine yes. große Stille kommt über das Meer, aber dann wird er vom Fisch verschlungen. Okay, and then he's in the belly, right? Mm. And then is er im Bauch. And let's just turn there in our Bibles quickly. Jo Jonah chapter 2. Wenn wir unsere Bibel da hingehen, so Jonas Kapitel 2. <coughs> And let's begin in verse 1. We fangen in verse 1 an. It says, Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly. And he said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me out of the belly of hell. Cried I, and thou heardest my voice. For thou hast cast me into the deep, in the midst of the seas, and the floods compassed me about, all thy billows and thy waves passed over me. So, what kind of experience did Jonah have here? So, what for an Erfahrung hatte Jonah here? The cross. Because the, the floods compass him around, the same as the dogs compass me around. Yes. Also, das ist das Kreuz, denn die Fluten, die ihm hier umgeben, ist dasselbe wie die Hunde, die Christus am Kreuz umgeben. So, yes, and then also says, the billows and thy waves passed over me. Right. Sagt auch, dass die, ja, die Wellen und die Wogen sind über mir gegangen. So, therefore, what, what happened here to him with respect to the waves again? So, was geschah mit ihm hier in Bezug auf die Wellen? Was a greater trial than the one yes. previous. Okay. Es war eine größere ähm, ähm, Test als die zuvor. So, the waves were roaring again, okay? So, die Wellen sind wieder am Toben. Okay, and when we go back to the notes. 
Und wenn wir jetzt zu den Notizen zurückgehen. And this is just a thought that I have uh, is like because in verse 35. Und das ist nur eine Gedanke, die ich habe, denn in Vers 35. It says the bold face let us pass over unto the other side. Das fett gedruckte. So what are they doing here? So was tun sie hier? They are crossing something, right? Also sie überqueren irgendetwas. Okay, and where is it that we are to cross something? Und wo ist es, wo wir irgendetwas überqueren müssen? Yes, the chasm. Der okay. Kluft. So, I want to suggest, but I'm still open, that this actually, uh, whereas Jonah's experience on the boat is before the chasm, also, wobei die Erfahrung von Jonas noch vor der Kluft stattfindet, yeah. is that actually this story is when he's in the belly, okay? Also, dass diese Geschichte findet statt, während er im Bauch ist. Yeah, when he, they're crossing basically, you know, the, the chasm. So, okay. wenn sie hier den Kluft überqueren. Okay, and because here also the, the storm is blowing and the waves are now roaring. Okay. Weil hier der Sturm weht und die Wellen wo, ähm, ja, wo, ähm, okay. toben. And what does Christ now do? Und was tut Christus jetzt? In verse 39. Vers 39. Sleeping. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. yeah, he he arose, he rebuked the wind, and says, "Peace, be still." Also, er stand auf, tadelt den Wind und sagt, Friede sei still. And so, when he says peace, what is it? Therefore, what time comes now? When he says Friede, what is this? The time of peace. Zeit right? des Friedens. So, and then he says also in verse forty. In verse forty, he says that the bold face. How is it that you have no faith? So where where is it that he comes to find faith? So wo ist es, wo er ankommt, um Glaube zu finden? Yeah, yeah. Let's go to Luke 18. Gehen wir zu Lukas 18. Interesting because in the story of Mount Carmel, Elijah mocks them and says, "Perhaps your God is sleeping." And here in this illustration, Christ is sleeping. Yes. He's, he's, mm. he's tarrying, he's not coming yet. Is it? Yes, you, you need to awaken him through your prayers. Yes. Die Geschichte von äh, Elia auf Karmel, der tadelt diesen Baals-Propheten, er sagt, vielleicht schläft euer Gott, aber hier, Christus ähm, schläft im Boot, also der wartet. Did you say tarried on the point of time? Or what did you say? No, no, you need to awaken him in order that ah, okay. he... Ah, okay, you must awaken him so much through your prayers. Through your prayers, yes. Okay, because in Luke 18, this widow woman, what is she doing? Then in Luke 18, this widow woman, what is she doing? She's saying, she's having the same experience. Yes, she's praying day and night for deliverance, right? She's praying day and night for deliverance. And then it says here now, um, verse 6 to 8. Und dann sagt es in die Verse 6 bis 8. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge saith. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he be along with them? So when is God avenging you? So when is it where God dich recht? Yes, when he executes judgment, right? Am Ende, wo er das Gericht ausführt. So for the first group would be here, for the second group here. Also für die erste Gruppe hier, für die nächste dann hier. Okay, and then it says in verse eight. Vers acht sagt es. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Because when he comes, right, the second coming. Also, er wird sie schnell rechnen. Also, wenn er kommt, sein zweites kommt. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? So, where is it that he looks for the faith? So, wo ist es, wo er nach Glaube schaut? When he comes. When he comes. When right? he comes. Which is in this illustration here, right? So, in diese Darstellung, das wäre When he comes hier. to avenge, avenge you. Wo er kommt, um dich zu rechnen. It's it's the final review when he looks at your. Talents, how much you made out of this. Right? Das ist der Untersuchung, wo er deine Talenten anschaut, um zu sehen, wie viel du sie vermehrt hast. So because also in this uh, story on the lake. Denn auch in dieser Geschichte hier, wo die auf dem See sind. Yeah, he rebuked the wind. When is he rebuking the wind? Er hat den Wind getadelt. Wann tadelte er den Wind? Also, at the end, right? Das ist auch hier am Ende. For the first group here, second group here. Okay. Erste Gruppe hier und der zweite Gruppe hier. Yeah, because the wind is Satan, right, and he's now rebuking the devourer. Weil der Wind ist Satan und er tadelt der Verzehrer. Okay, and they were the ones that had no faith. Okay, these disciples here. Und die Jungen hier waren diejenigen, die keinen Glaube hatten. Okay, and in verse 41, what came over them? Und 
Vers 41, was ist es, was über sie kam? Great fear. Großes Furcht. This is when the two witnesses ascend, great fear comes upon the people. Wenn die zwei Zeugen ins Himmel hinauffahren, großes Furcht kommt über das Volk. Okay, now let's look at uh, the next quote. So, lass uns der nächste Zitat anschauen. Because Sister White, she comments on this. Denn Ellen White kommentiert hierüber. It says, how often the disciples experience is ours. When the tempests of temptation gather and the fierce lightnings flash and the waves sweep over us, we battle with the storm alone. So what is she linking this experience with? So mit was verbindet sie diese Erfahrung? So when the tempests of temptations come, right? When diese ja, Flutwelle der Versuchung kommt. And so we battle then in our own strength against these temptations. Also wir kämpfen im eigenen Kraft gegen diese Versuchung. Forgetting that there is one who can help us. We trust to our own strength till our hope is lost and we are ready to perish. Then we remember Jesus and if we call upon him to save us, we shall not cry in vain. Though he sorrowfully reproves our unbelief and self-confidence, he never fails to give us the help we need. Whether on the land or on the sea, if we have the Savior in our hearts, there is no need for, of fear. Living faith in the Redeemer will smooth the sea of life and will deliver us from danger in the way he knows to be best. Next paragraph. Next absurd. There is another spiritual lesson in this miracle of the stilling of the tempest. Every man's experience testifies to the truth of the words of Scripture. The wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest. There is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked. Sin has destroyed our peace. While self is unsubdued, we cannot, uh, we can find no rest. So, therefore, in this illustration, what was still alive in the disciple? So, in, in this illustration, what was still in the young man, what was still alive? Self, right? Mm -hmm. But where is self to die? And at which experience? But where does self die? Which experience? Yeah, right. <laughs> This is here when self is to die and here obviously self dies. Right? This is here when self sterben sollte and here sollte es tot sein. This would be in agreement with the being. Because when the day of atonement begins, you have to begin searching your heart and die to self. Yes. Also, when the Versöhnungstag fängt an, du sollst deine Herzen untersuchen, untersuchen und selbst töten. So that, therefore there would be a there's a storm there, but then there's this final storm. Because Isaiah got new sin revealed to him. That's the point. It would then heißen, that here drin is a storm, but the final storm is here. Then in the Geschichte von Jesaja, ihm ist hier eben neue Sünde ihm geoffenbart worden. Yes. And now let's look because it's very nice what she says here. So, lasst uns schauen, denn es ist eben schon, was sie hier dazu sagt. The masterful passions of the heart no human power can control. We are as helpless here as were the disciples to quiet the raging storm. Okay, so it's like a perfect illustration, okay? This is like a perfect illustration. If you just picture yourself being in this boat, on this lake, in the storm, in the waves. Also, wenn du dich vorstellst, in diesem Boot zu sein, auf diesem See, inmitten des Sturms und diesen tobenden Wellen. How impossible it would be for you to just calm the storm and the waves, right? So, wie unmöglich es sein wäre, dass du jetzt hier diesen Sturm und die Wellen um, zur Ruhe bringst. So, in the, the same impossibility is to control our human passions unless the Lord gives us the power. Okay. Und es ist derselbe Unmöglichkeit, so die menschliche Leidenschaften zu kontrollieren, es sei denn, der Herr uns die Kraft dazu gibt. Well, there's mm -hmm. another important point there. Yes. In Jonah 1, Verse 16, it parallels that what you read there in Mark 441. Okay. And let's go quickly to Jonah. Because it's like this chapter one. You know, to Jonah's capital mm -hmm. eins. You know like there's the ninth hour and the ninth hour, there's midnight and midnight and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. You see this jo Jonah one and verse sixteen. So Jonah one sixteen, okay. It says, 
Then the man feared the Lord exceedingly. This is when he, after he's cast out into the water. In the and the sea ceased from raging in verse 15. Okay. Then the man feared the Lord exceedingly and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord and made vows. Okay, so this would be then uh, the first temptation would end and now the second would begin, right? Das wäre dann der erste Versuch und kommt zu einem Ende und der zweite fängt an. Job's, Job's three friends and then Elihu. So, okay. Job's okay. three friends, gefolgt von Elihu. But specifically says, they feared the Lord exceedingly. And yes. it says exactly the same there in Matthew 4, 41. Mm. So, es yes. uh, sagt hier, dass sie den Herrn sehr gefürchtet haben und es sagt dasselbe in Matthäus 4, 41. Which yes. is at the end. Yes. Was am Ende ist. So, when you pass this first trial, there comes fear. So, when you pass the second test, uh, hast, there comes fear. And when you pass the second, also fear comes. And when you pass the second, also fear comes. And when you pass the second, also fear comes. And when you pass the second, also fear comes. And when you pass the second, also fear comes. And because um, uh, when you just go to Job, when you pass the second, also because it says that the the in verse 15, it said, the sea ceased from her raging. Right? Mm. Now let's go to Job yes. chapter, I think, 30. What? Do you know it? No, I didn't take friends. Yes. Okay. Job chapter 30. Job chapter 30. Verse 32. Yeah, maybe when Elijah comes, yes. 32. Job 32. <coughs> Verse 1 and 2. Die Versen 1 und 2. Oh, 1 and 1 to 3. So it says here, So these three men ceased to answer Job, because he was righteous in his own eyes. So they cease now. So sie hören jetzt auf. But then it says in verse 2. Aber es sagt jetzt in Vers 2. Then was kindled the wrath of Elihu. So now Elihu comes with his wrath. Okay. And the three friends in Elihu, who are they? In the context here. Uh, keep your finger here, let's go to Job, uh, Jude, chapter 1. Und ihr habt Elihu. Und ihr habt Elihu. The three friends and Elihu. Uh, let's... Yes, let's go to Jude 1, 11 to 13. So, Judas 1, 11 to 13. Because we saw that this, the seas stopped their raging. Right? We have seen that the Meere ihrem Toben um, stopped or aufhört. It says, beginning in verse 11. Verse 11. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. So, Verse 11 is speaking about what? So, Vers 11 spricht über was? Omega, yes, Omega Apostasy. Okay. Omega Abfall. So, and the Omega Apostasy begins with the three friends of Job. Right? Und die Omega Abfall fängt mit den drei Freunden von hier ab. Let's continue. Lesen wir weiter. These are spots in your feasts of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds. Trees whose fruit withereth without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame. So what are they? Was sind sie? Die Mesh Vers 13? Raging waves of the sea. Right? Toben der Wellen des Meeres. So first the three friends of Job, they rage here. So okay. zuerst die drei Freunde Hiobs, die toben hier. And then Elihu rages because his wrath is now kindled here, right? And then Elihu tobt here drin, then sein Zorn wird aufgewühlt. So you have two times raging. So zwei Mal gibt es hier toben. But at the same time, so this would be the internal illustration of the internal what goes on among God's people, okay? So, zur selben Zeit, also das ist eine Darstellung von das, was unter Gottes Volk stattfindet, also intern. Yeah. But inside of you, what is raging there also? What Aber did we just read? In dich äh, drinne, was tobt auch noch? Passion. Mm. Yeah, self, right? And the human passions. Selbst, okay. diese menschliche Leidenschaften. So, self wants to 
get rid of God in this time. Okay. Selbst möchte Gott loswerden in dieser Zeit. I wonder if that's um, this little, you know, this tiny little spot of peace that comes at the end. That's when Satan will come and try and deceive you. Mm. That is done. Uh, no, it, it comes. Ah, oh, look, it's finished now. Now you can come down off the uh, cross, but it's yes, not done. Yes. Okay. So what Mark is suggesting is that because this first raging stops here when. He gets cast into the water, right, was, Jonah? Nur der Mark sagt, ist, dass wenn dieses Toben hier aufhört, an diese Stelle, also das ist wo ähm, Jonah in das Wasser geworfen wird und das, das Meer wühlt, ähm, hört auf zu toben. And the three friends of Job, they cease here, right? Die drei Freunde Hiobs hören auf hier. So it's like a seeming time of peace now. That, it's the fruit. Yeah, that, it's it's wie, yes, it's the fruit, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Es ist wie eine kleine Zeit des Friedens. Es ist wie der Frucht. So, so we just read in Job. Yeah. Fruit comes up here. Okay. That's the first fruit. Yes. So that's fruit the fruit comes here. The first fruit. The, uh, yeah, the, the bud, right? The, the yes. Bud, yes. 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 Trees whose fruit withereth without fruit, twice dead. So mm -hmm. here, so here. Also, das ist der Frucht, der hier heraufkommt. Also. Yeah. Or the, the, the fruit in the bud. Okay. The knosp. The fruit in the knosp. Okay. So, <coughs> but here Satan comes, and he basically then says, yeah. It's now the time of peace. You're already through. Okay. Here comes Satan an and says, "Shout! It's time of peace. You are through." Yeah, but unless you receive this work that only God can do for you, yeah, you cannot bring forth more fruit. Yes, you cannot bring forth much fruit. Sei denn, dass du dieses Werk erhältst, die nur Gott für dich tun kann. Du kannst nicht den viel Frucht hervorbringen. So that's the great deception because it stops here for a moment. You think. You now pass through. You already but forth, okay? So das ist der große Verführung. Es hört sie herauf für einen kleinen Moment. Also es sprost hervor und du denkst, dass du durch bist. And Satan will tell you, all right, you made it now. You're born again. You're holy. Okay. Satan wird dich versuchen zu überzeugen. Du hast es geschafft. Du bist jetzt vom Neuen geboren. Du bist jetzt heilig. And you will do it through Elihu. Okay. Und er wird das durch Elihu tun. Okay, who has this appearance of Christ. Der dieses Ansehen von Christus hat. Okay, so, yes, very nice. Alright, so let's um, continue in the quote. So, lasst uns um, vorangehen in Zitat. So, <coughs> so we, it says here in the underlined. So, das unterstrichene. Mm. While self is unsubdued, we can find no rest. The masterful passions of the heart, no human power can control. We are as helpless here as were the disciples to quiet the raging storm. But he who spoke peace to the billows of Galilee has spoken the word of peace for every soul. However fierce the tempest, those who turn to Jesus with a cry, Lord, save us, will find deliverance. His grace that reconciles the soul to God quiets the strife of human passion, and in his love the heart is at rest. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are the, they glad because they be quiet, so he bringeth them unto their desired haven. Being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, speaking about when you are now justified by faith, right, then you have peace with God. Sprich darüber, wenn du gerechtfertigt bist durch Glaube, dann hast du Friede mit Gott. And what does it say? Uh, when are you justified? Wann bist By du faith? gerechtfertigt durch Glaube? Have a cook. Yeah, at the time of point. At the time of point. Right? The just shall live by faith. Okay. Die Gerechten werden durch Glaube leben. So here they're justified by faith. Das ist hier, wo du gerechtfertigt bist durch Glaube. Okay. Good. Um, now let's um, continue. Because the very next story after they come out of the ship is when they meet now these two demoniacs. Und genau der nächste Geschichte, wenn sie aus diesem Boot herauskommen, sie treffen diese zwei Männer von Dämonen besessen. So let's read in Matthew 8, 28. Das ist in Matthäus 8, Vers 28. It's in the notes here. In den Notizen. Hmm. It says, And when he was come to the other side, into the country of the Gergesenes, There met him two possessed with devils, coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. Okay. So nobody is passing by there. So, keiner geht darüber, vorüber. Okay, except 
Christ, of course. Easy, okay. also yeah. Christus, yeah. natürlich. So he is now passing by. So Christus okay. geht vorüber. So therefore, what is he giving these two demonies? Deswegen, was gibt er diese zwei Dämonen besessen? Yes, the revelation. Okay. So it shows, yeah, unless you have the revelation, what are you? So es zeigt, dass es sei denn, dass du die Offenbarung hast, ähm, was bist du? Demon besessen. Yes. Von you have this besessen. demon in you. Okay. Diese Dämon in And you. what kind of demon? Let's go to the next quote. Was für ein Dämon? Lass uns diesen nächsten Zitat lesen. It's enough to read just the first sentence. Es reicht, den ersten Satz zu lesen. It says, Christ knew when he had permitted Judas to contest with him as uh, connect, thank you, to connect with him as one of the twelve that Judas was possessed of the demon of selfishness. Okay? So as long self has not die, uh, has not died, das solange, solange das selbst nicht gestorben ist, yeah, this demon is still in you. Okay? Ist diese Dämon immer noch in yeah. dir. It's the old husband. Right? Dieser alte Ehemann. It's Satan. It's is Satan. Okay, so here, still demon possessed. So here bist du immer noch vom Dämon besessen. Okay. And also in the next quote. And possessed. Post. Ah, sorry. Okay. Uh, and then the next quote. And in the next citat. Uh, let's read the last sentence also. No, das letzte Satz. Speaking about Judas again. Spricht wieder über Judas. If he would open his heart to Christ, divine grace would banish the demon of selfishness, and even Judas might become a subject of the kingdom of God. Okay, and where was Jesus trying to pour his grace into Judas' heart? Und wo hat Jesus versucht, seine Gnade in den Herz von Judas zu gießen? Yes, at the foot washing, right? which is this revelation. Okay. So, and had he received this grace, Uh, this demon would have been cast out of him. Okay. Hätte er diese Gnade erhalten, dann würde dieser Dämon von ihm hinausgetrieben. But because he rejected it, what happened to him? Weil er es ablehnte, was geschah mit ihm? Satan entered into him and got a complete control of him. Satan ist in ihm hineingekommen, hat die vollkommene Kontrolle über ihn erhalten. Self now totally ruled Judas. So, selbst hat Judas jetzt vollständig ähm, geherrscht. Okay. So now let's go back uh, to the story of the demoniacs. So jetzt zu dieser Geschichte von den Dämonenbesessenen zurück. And uh, we continue with the account taken from Mark. Und wir fahren mit dieser ja, Erzählung von Markus weiter. And Mark and Luke, they only speak about one demon-possessed person. Okay. Markus und Lukas, sie sprechen nur über eine, der vom Dämon besessen ist. Whereas Matthew says there were two, right? Wobei we Matthäus read. sagt, was wir eben gelesen haben, es waren zwei. And says the White says also that there were two. Okay. And White sagt auch, es gab zwei. So Mark and Luke, they give just a count of one. Okay. So Markus und Lukas geben nur den Bericht von einem. But I don't know, obviously it has a, has a meaning, okay? Ich But I don't know. Also sicherlich hat es eine Bedeutung. Okay, but let's just read now here from Mark, so that you don't wonder that here now he only speaks about one. Also, ich das nur, weil wir uns jetzt nicht wundern, weil Markus hier nur von einem erzählt. So let's begin in verse one. Das eins. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwellings among the tombs, And no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. Okay, so what could no person do to him? So, was konnte niemand mit ihm tun? Yeah, nobody could uh, bind him, right? So, niemand konnte ihn binden. Or tame him. Oder ihm, ja, what did we read about? What did this white say about these raging waves? There are these human passions. Yeah. And no human strength can control them. Right? So when yes, it, it's self, okay. So the the self here. 
dieses Selbst hier. Uh, it's untamable by human power. Es ist unzügelbar durch Menschenkraft. Ja, yeah, so, so these governments, for instance, okay. So diese Regierungen denn zum Beispiel. Ja, uh, es, they don't use God's power, they use then human force, right, to, to force people into subjection. Sie okay. benutzen nicht Gottes Kraft, sondern die benutzen Menschenkraft, um ja, den Menschen in die Unterwerfung zu zwingen. Yeah, but the more they oppress, the more they use force to, to subdue self in people. Uh, desto mehr, dass sie um, diesen Zwang. eigenen Kraft ja. benutzen, um den Menschen zu zwingen. In die Unterwerfung zu zwingen. Hm. Die Unterwerfung zu zwingen. Yeah. What eventually will be the result? So, was wird letztendlich das Resultat? Rebellion. Yeah, rebellion, a revolution, right? It will... Es wird open. explodieren, Rebellion, eine Revolution wird daraus entstehen. Mm -hmm. And then they get overthrown. Und dann okay. werden sie umgestürzt. So, uh, therefore, and this is the same uh, principle when we deal with one another here. Und das ist dasselbe Prinzip in unserem Umgang hier mit einer. Uh, if we try to use our own strength, human power, to force somebody into subjection. Wenn wir versuchen, unsere eigenen Kraft, also Menschenkraft, jemand in der Unterwerfung zu zwingen. Even if we uphold right things, but use the wrong means. Selbst yeah. wenn wir das richtige Ding umsetzen möchten, sondern aber wir tun es mit den falschen Mitteln. Yeah. The only result will be rebellion. Yeah. Das einzige Resultat daraus wäre dann Rebellion. Yeah. And you, you cannot control, you cannot tame the self in the other person. Okay. Du kannst nichts kontrollieren, du kannst nichts zügeln, das selbst in jemanden anderen. So, it's only by the grace of God. Yeah? So we need to pray, we need to labor patiently with one another and let the Holy Spirit tame the self in this other person. Okay. Nur durch die Gnade Gottes. Also wir müssen beten für diesen Personen, erlauben, dass der Heilige Geist an den wirkt. Okay, so, in you, when you use the word tame, what, what do you actually usually apply it to? Also, wenn du diesen Wort im Englischen tame benutzt, also zügeln, es ist tame, ich weiß nicht, wie es ist, es ist so eine wilde Tier zu einem Haustier zu machen. Zähmen. Zähmen. Zähmen, danke, das ist es. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it's an animal, right? Es ist ein Tier. Okay, so, let's go to this story, let's go to Mark. I think, is it 11? Markus 11 gehen. Maybe it's a different chapter, we'll see. No, it's Mark 11. Mark, Markus 11. Um, it says, um, when he sends his disciples to get Yes, right. Also, wenn er seine zwei Jungen sendet, um diesen Esel zu, zu bin, äh, loszubinden. And let's read verses 2 to 3. Wir lesen die Versen 2 und 3. It says, And he saith unto them, Go your way into the village over against you, and as soon as ye be entered into it, ye shall find a cold tide, whereon never man said, Loose him and bring him. And so actually already enough. Okay, so it's a what happened oh what does Jesus say? What never happened to this ass? So what said Jesus, what is nie mit diesen Esel geschehen? Yes. Yes. Oh, it's not been done. So, no one has been able to Exactly. So, uh, never man was able to control the ass. Okay. So, nie zuvor ist ein Mensch imstande, diesen Esel zu kontrollieren. And the natural teaches the spiritual, right? And das Natürliche zeigt uns das Geistliche. What, what is what does the natural teach us about an ass? So, was uh, lehrt uns das Natürliche von einem Esel? represents those that trust in the flesh. Yes, okay, but a, a literal ass. So, oh, yes, it's stubborn, also right? Also, buchstäbliches Esel ist stur. Yes, exactly. okay. <coughs> yeah, you say stubborn as a mule, mule for instance, right? Du bist so stur wie ein Esel. So, Jakob is also the same with me. Like, the 
the tank and it's also connected with the horses uh, which are yeah the, with the bridle that you put in the mouth mm -hmm. of horses yes and uh, in james it says and jacobus uh, diesen zaunzeug uh, it says nobody can tame the tongue niemand kann der uh, zunge zügeln yeah, you need to put this bridle in du musst diesen zaunzeug reinlegen okay so yeah therefore yeah, when we go back to the story here so wenn wir jetzt hier zu der geschichte zu no notes die notizen and nobody could Tame this de demoniac. So, niemand konnte diese von Dämonen besessene Mann zügeln. Yeah, because uh, self or Sin. this demon controlled him. Okay. Weil selbst oder diese Dämonen hat ihn im Griff. Okay. And uh, let's go now to Luke 8, 27. So, jetzt Lukas 8, 27. It says, And when he went forth to land, there met him out of the city a certain man, which had devils long time. So this is now the account taken from Luke. Okay? So here is the Bericht aus Lukas entnommen, also selbe Geschichte. So a certain man which had devils long time and wear no clothes, neither abode in any house but in the tombs. So what didn't he have on? So was hatte er nicht an? <laughs> no, yes, he was naked, right? Er war nackt, so keine he therefore represents somebody yeah, who is controlled by Satan, right? He, he doesn't have the message. Okay. So, er ist kontrolliert von jemand, der stellt jemanden da, der vom Satan kontrolliert ist, der hat nicht die Botschaft. Yeah, there is no means that the self can be subdued in any way. Okay. So, er hat yes, he's a lost sheep. Yes. Kein Mittel in sich, der diesen selbst zähmen kann. Also der ist ein verlorener Schaf. Because we saw that they crossed the, the river and on the other side of the river they then got confronted with this demonic. Okay. Sie haben gesehen, dass sie den Fluss überquert haben und auf der anderen Seite sind mit diesen Dämonen besessene ähm, begegnet. Yeah, so he's one of those lost sheep. Okay. Er ist eine von diesen verlorenen Schafen. But the same principle applies to us that as long as self is in us, yeah, we're possessed with this demon. Okay. Und dasselbe Prinzip ist uns anzuwenden, dass solange das Selbst in uns am Leben ist, wir sind von diesen Dämonen besessen. So and therefore, yeah, uh, you cannot cast somebody else's demon out unless your demon is cast out first. Okay? Du kannst nicht jemand anders sein Dämon auswerfen, es sei denn, dass deine eigenen zuerst ausgeworfen ist. Okay, you want to make a point? You'll come to it in a minute. Okay. Okay. Also says, in, at the end it says, but he didn't dwell in any house, but he dwelled in tombs. That's where dead bones are. Yes, true. Also, wo er weilte nicht in ein Haus, sondern in den um, Friedhöfen, so voller Totengebeine. Yes, okay. Yeah, he's these dead dry bones. Okay. okay, Mark 5. Markus 5. So let's go back to the account of Mark again. So wieder zurück zu den Bericht von Markus jetzt. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. So this is now their day and night experience, okay? This is ihre Tag und Nacht Erfahrung hier. It's the prophets of Baal. That's the point. Was the prophet? The Baal's prophet. He's cutting himself. Because they were crying, they were crying and cutting themselves. The Baal's prophets riefen und schnitten sich. I mean, they're they're not doing it in this time, but it's the same principle. Right? Yes. It's true. It's not in this time here, but it's the same principle. It's a spiritualism. Yes. This is spiritualism. Sorry. No, not the same thing. Scrape, scraping. Yeah. Okay, uh, now let's continue verse 6. Verse 6. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, the Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, the unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion. For we are many. Okay, so he asked him now, what is thy name? Right? Uh, was ist dein Name? And where, where else do we see this question but in the opposite way? And wo sehen wir diese Frage noch, aber umgekehrt? Uh, uh, yes. No, no, what is thy name? Jacob. Yes, Jacob, right? Jacob. And also in Judges. Okay. And auch in Richter. So, uh, let's go look at this quickly. Let's go to Genesis. 
in chapter 32. This is when Jacob wrestled with Christ. Right? And in the And verse 29. It says, And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask me after my name? And he blessed him there. Okay, so Jacob asked him for his name, right? So Jacob bittet um seinen Namen. And also go to Judges chapter 13. Dann geht zu Richter Kapitel 13. That's the story of uh, Samson. Das ist die Geschichte von Samson. Uh, when the angel of the Lord appeared to Manoah. Wo dieser Engel des Herrn Manoah vor geschien, uh, erschienen ist. In no, verse 17. Vers 17. Judges 13. Yes, verse 17. It says, And Manoah said unto the angel of the Lord, What is thy name? That when thy sayings come to pass, we may do thee honor. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, Why askest thou thus after my name, seeing it is secret? Okay. So, uh, 17 to 18. So this is these two opposite illustrations, yeah, where they ask Christ for his name. But Christ, now he asked the demon for his name. So this is these two examples here, the anders sind als der Dämoni, also Christus mit den Dämoniak. Hier bitten sie Christus um seinen Namen, aber mit den Dämonenbesessenen Christus bittet den Dämonen seinen Namen. Okay, so now let's go back to the story, Mark okay. chapter 5. So, zurück zu Markus 5, Vers 10. Vers 10. And he, the unclean spirit, besought him much, that he would not send, him, send them away out of the country. Now there are Oh, sorry, now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. And forwith Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about two thousand and were choked in the sea. So where did they perish? So wo sind sie umgekommen? Yes, in the waters, right? In the water. Okay, so that's basically then, if this, this story, then they get punished here at the end. Okay. This is, diese Geschichte hier, die werden am Ende bestraft. And Jesus now casts out the demon here of this demon. Okay. Jesus um, wirft den Dämon oder treibt den Dämon on this man here heraus. Christ says, don't cast your pearls before the swine. Mm -hmm. So it's a representation of all those that don't receive the truth, those demons will enter into yes. mm -hmm. Jesus sagt, wirft deinen ähm, Perlen nicht den Schweinen vor. Und das ist eine Darstellung von all diejenigen, die die Wahrheit ähm, nicht annehmen. Those that don't actually receive the truth, what did you say after that? Well, the demons go into them. Also, the demons go into the sea. That's why they get destroyed in the sea, because they've got these demons in them. So, that's why they get destroyed in the sea, because they've got these demons in them. Okay. And then, uh, let's continue in verse 14. Okay. And then, uh, let's continue in verse 14. Lesen wir weiter, Vers 14. It says, And they that fed the swine fled, and told it in the city and in the country, and they went out to see what it was that was done. Yes, uh, yes, I mean, here they fleeing now away, right? Here flüchten sie weg. But they now share what happened. Okay? Aber sie verteilen weit und breit das, was geschehen ist. Like the scattering of Babel. You know, when he comes down, he punishes mm. the terror. The people get scattered. Yes. Yes. Es ist wie der Zerstreuung am Babel. Er kommt herab und bestraft den Turm sozusagen und alle Menschen werden in aller Welt zerstreut. Because it says now in verse 15, Vers 15 sagt es, And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and at the legion, sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. So now great fear comes upon them. Jetzt große Furcht kommt über sie. So, okay. Gerade hier. So, and he's now clothed. Und okay. er hat Klamotten jetzt an. So he's now clothed with the righteousness of Christ. Also mit der Gerechtigkeit Christus angezogen. He was sitting at the feet of Jesus. Und er saß zu Füßen Jesu. And had a right mind. Und okay. war in seiner richtigen Gesinnung. Now verse 16. Vers 16. And they that saw it told them how it befell to him 
that was possessed with the devil, and also concerning the swine. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coasts. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee, and hath had compassion on thee. So, what did he have on him? Was hat er mit sie? Compassion. So, Erbarmen. Where, where do we take it from? Midgefühl. Yes, when he passes by. Right? Also, wenn er an sie vorübergeht. Let's go to Exodus chapter 32. Zweite Buch Mose, Kapitel 32. 33, uh, 33, 33. Yes. Let's read verses 18 to 19. It says, And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, <coughs> and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. So this is when the Lord shows compassion to you. Right? Da, wo der Herr mit dir when he passes by. Wenn er an dich if, if you go to, um, hmm? if you go to Romans 9.15, it puts those two thoughts together. Okay. So, Romans 9.15. Romans 9.15. So here Paul quotes the scripture we just read. So here Paulus zitiert den Schrift, die wir eben in 2. Buch Mose gelesen haben. And he uses now the word compassion instead of um, uh, great gracious. Und er benutzt das Wort also Mitleid oder Mitgefühl anstelle von Gnade. It says, For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Okay. So the compassion or the mercy he shows you is the revelation. Also diese Mitleid oder diese Gnade, die er mit dir hat, ist eben die Offenbarung. And it's the only means that this demon of selfishness can be cast out of you. Das ist der einzige Weg, wie diese Dämonen der Selbst oder Selbstsucht aus dir herausgetrieben werden kann. Yes, everybody sees this. Könnt ihr das sehen? Yeah? Okay. So let's continue. So lesen wir weiter wieder in die Notizen. Um, Vers 20. Vers 20. Uh, and he departed and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him, and all men did marvel. So what did Jesus do to him? So Or what did Jesus tell him? Yeah, tell him to do? So what did Jesus say? What did he do? Go. Yeah, he sent him now to, yeah, to, to testify of what Christ did for him. So okay. he had him sent to testify to him. Das, was Christus für ihn getan hat. Right? So publish the, the gospel. Yes, exactly. Es benutzt das Wort hier ähm, Drücke, also im Sinne von Verlag, also Drücke das Evangelium nieder. So. Veröffentliche. Veröffentliche. Oder so. Send. So now let's continue in the next quote. So next Zitat. And this is now when um, yeah, basically Sister White's comment on what we just read. And here Alan White commented über das was wir in Markus eben gelesen haben. It says in the early morning the Savior and his companions came to the shore, and the light of the rising sun touched sea and land as with a benediction of peace. But no sooner had they stepped upon the Beach upon uh, then their eyes were greeted by a sight more terrible than the fury of the tempest. From some hiding place among the tombs, two madmen rushed upon them as if to tear them in pieces. Hanging about these men were parts of chains which they had broken in escaping from confinement. 
the flesh was torn and bleeding where they had cut themselves with sharp stones. Their eyes glared out from the long and matted or matted hair. The very likeness of humanity seemed to have been blotted out by the demons that possessed them, and they looked more like wild beasts than like men. Okay, so we need to mentions in Wildertier. Yes. And yeah, so the the lost sheep, yeah, if they are so controlled like them, yeah, we need to expect that Satan is really holding them captive. Okay. Wenn die verlorenen Schafen so sind wie diese Männer, dann können wir erwarten, dass Satan sie wirklich in seinen Griff hielt. Okay, next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. Obviously they don't necessarily need to look like it today, okay, in our time, but just it's an outward representation what is in their hearts. Okay. Also sie müssen nicht natürlich äußerlich so aussehen wie diesen Dämoniaken hier, aber das ist eine äußerliche Darstellung von das inwendige Zustand ihrem Herzen. Ja, they will act like this, but they will not like necessarily look like wild beasts. From, yes. Also sie werden so ähm, demnach handeln, aber sie werden nicht so unbedingt aussehen, als wenn sie Kopf voller Dreadlocks haben und sowas. Okay, next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. The disciples and their companions fled in terror, but presently they noticed that Jesus was not with them, and they turned to look for him. So, everybody who was not anointed fled from Satan, right? Jeder, der nicht gesalbt äh, war, ist von Satan geflüchtet. Yeah, but if you have Christ in you, the hope of glory, you know, can stand. Okay. Wenn du Christus in dir hast, der Hoffnung der Herrlichkeit, dann kannst du hier stehen. Because you now tamed the ass and you control the ass. Right? Weil du hast den Esel gezähmt und du kontrollierst ihn jetzt. Yes. Perfekte Liebe treibt allen Furcht aus. He was standing where they had left him. He who had stilled the tempest, who had before met Satan and conquered him, did not flee before the, these demons. So, because Jesus conquered Satan, he can now stand against them. So, weil Satan, weil Jesus Satan besiegt hat, er kann jetzt gegen ihm stehen. When the man gnashing the teeth and foaming at the mouth approached him, Jesus raised that hand which had beckoned the waves to rest, and the man could not, uh, could come no nearer. They stood raging, but helpless before him. Okay, so there are these, also these raging waves now. So um, but you can calm these waves as Jesus calmed them. Okay. Du kannst diesen Wellen zum Stillen bringen, so wie Jesus es tat. Okay, so just jump over Jude, we already read it earlier. Also überspringen wir Judas, also wir haben das bereits gelesen. The waves were still, and they are not still. They're still raging. Yes. Just, um, check yeah, because um, these raging waves are one time. Um, Elio's three friends, right? So these tobende Wellen sind einmal Elio, um, die drei Freunde von Hiob. And then Elio. Right? Und danach Elio. Okay, and th these are all those that are not, in a sense, not part of. Okay, I mean the three friends, they are part of the lost sheep because Job prays later for, for them. Also, die drei right? Freunde sind ein Teil von den verlorenen Schafen, also weil am Ende der Geschichte, yes. am Ende der Geschichte, Hiob betet für sie. Yeah. But the, the point is that, yeah, when you pass the test, these people here, these lost sheep, they didn't conquer themselves yet. Okay. Also, aber wenn du diesen Test bestehst, diese verlorenen Schafen hier, sie haben sich selbst noch nicht überwunden. Yeah, so therefore, they are still raging. So yeah. Deswegen okay. die toben noch. So, uh, the three friends would rage again here. Okay. Also die drei Freunde yeah. würden denn hier wieder toben. Yeah, because Satan will still stir them up against you. Okay. Satan wird sie gegen dich aufwühlen. Okay, so you only stop raging when self died in you. Okay. Also, das Toben hört nur in dir auf, wenn selbst in dir stirbt. It's, it's just like at the Red Sea, he, he restrains the waters, but the waters don't change, they're still mad, they're just waiting to get at each other, but just can't because he stopped them. That's what he so wie says. an dem Roten Meer, also die Wassern links und rechts, ähm, die, die Toben noch, die können nur nichts an dich ran. So, er hält sie in check. Okay, so, let's continue now with the next paragraph. Nächsten Absatz. It says, with authority, 
Ja, so Jesus had no authority, right? Because he conquered Satan. Autorität, weil er Satan besiegt hat. And with authority he bade the unclean spirits come out of them. His words penetrated the darkened minds of the unfortunate men. They realized dimly that one was near who could save them from the tormenting demons. They fell at the Savior's feet to worship him, but when their lips were opened to entreat his mercy, the demons spoke through them, crying vehemently, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, the Son of God, most high, Son of God, most high? I beseech thee, torment me not. Okay, so what do they now, when they are confronted with Jesus, what do they now begin to receive? So, wenn sie mit Jesus konfrontiert sind, was fangen sie an zu erhalten? It says his words, right? Seine In the Worte. second sentence. Diese zweiten Satz. Yeah, so Christ's words Die Worte Christi. penetrated the darkened minds of the unfortunate, unfortunate mind, uh, men. Drinken die verdunkelten Verständen von diesen verunglückten Männern durch. And what are Christ's words? Und was sind die Worte Christi? Light. Light, so exactly. Licht. Okay. So light shines into them now. So Licht. Leuchtet in sie hinein. Yeah, where else do we see this? Wo sehen wir das noch? Isaiah. Also yes. repentance and state of the crisis. That exactly. The, the light shines into your heart. Jesaja und auch ähm, die Kapitel Buße tun. In Schritte zu Christi leuchtet das Licht in dein Herz. Yes. Okay, let, let's go there because they're just in the next um, under this and steps to Christ. So, da gehen wir hin jetzt, also die nächsten ähm, Zitat, es ist von Schritte zu Christen. Das ist, weil es Isaiahs Experience was light shining into his mind. Ja, Leut sagt, dass die Erfahrung von Jesaja war, Licht leuchtete in seinem Verstand. So it's the revelation. Das ist die Offenbarung. Mm. And it says here in Steps to Christ. Schritte zu Christi sagt es. You who are in heart long for something better than this world can give, recognize this longing as the voice of God to your soul. Ask him to give you repentance, to reveal Christ to you in his infinite love, in his perfect purity. So this is what you need to receive, the repentance through the revelation. Okay. Dies ist, was du erhalten musst, also Buße durch die Offenbarung. In the Savior's life, the principles of God's law, love to God and man, were perfectly exemplified. Benevolence and unselfish love was the life of his soul. It is as we behold him, as the light from our Savior falls upon us, that we see the sinfulness of our own hearts. Okay, and this was what the demon demoniacs did, right? They saw no Christ, and now they light shone into their minds. Okay? Das ist was diese Besessene äh, erfüllen haben. Also die ähm, die haben Christus gesehen und Licht leuchtete in ihrem Herzen hin. And they basically saw now their sinfulness. Okay? Sie haben ihre Sündhaftigkeit gesehen. Next paragraph. Next absolute. We may have flattered ourselves, as did Nicodemus, that our life has been upright. That our moral character is correct, and think that we not, need not humble the heart before God like the common sinner. And we say, uh, these are these sinners, okay? But when the light from Christ shines into our souls, we shall see how impure we are. We shall discern the selfishness of motive, the enmity against God that has defiled every act of life. So what is still in us before we receive the revelation? So was ist das, was noch in uns ist, noch bevor wir die Offenbarung erhalten? Selfishness, selfishness the demon of selfishness. Selbstsucht, der Dämon der Selbstsucht. And enmity against God. Und okay. Feindschaft gegen Gott. So it's the carnal mind, yes. Es ist der fleischliche yeah. Verstand. So, brothers and sisters, don't wonder yeah, if your heart doesn't want to obey God, okay? So, liebe Geschwister, wundert euch nicht, wenn mm. eurem Herz Gott nichts gehorcht. Yeah, when you are unwilling to obey God, wenn okay? Wenn nicht bereit bist, Gott zu gehorchen. Yeah. Offended by truth. Yes, and you get offended by truth, okay? Dass du Anstoß bekommst, die Wahrheit wegen. But as Brother Marius shared with us, it's always about the decision we make, okay? Aber wie Bruder Marius uns heute mitgeteilt hat, es hängt immer von der Entscheidung, die wir treffen. And we can make the right decision and ask God then to give us the grace to not act out our feelings, but what is right, okay? Wir können Gott bitten um die Gnade, dass wir nicht unsere Gefühle ausüben, sondern stattdessen das, was richtig ist. Okay. Then we shall know that our own righteousness is indeed as filthy rags and that the blood of Christ alone can cleanse us from the defilement of sin and renew our hearts in his own likeness. One ray of the glory of God, one gleam of the purity of Christ penetrating the soul, 
This is what happened to the demoniacs, right? This is what the possessed geschehen ist. Makes every spot of defilement plainly distinct Pain and painful. uh, painfully distinct, and lays bare the deformity and defects of the human character. <laughs> it makes apparent the unhallowed desires, the infidelity of the heart, the impurity of the lips. And this is what Isaiah said, right? And this is what Isaiah said. Okay, and go up again, please, to the Desire of Ages quote we just read before. So, go hinauf to this Zitat from DA, from the Leben Jesus, that we have read. Mm -hmm. 337.3. 337.3. And just go to the last bold faced. And the last the fat gedrückt. says, They fell at the Savior's feet to worship him, but when they. When their lips were opened to entreat his mercy, the demons spoke through them. Okay, so as long as self is not cast out, who will control your lips? So, solange das Selbst nicht hinausgetrieben ist, wer kontrolliert deine Lippen? Yes, yes. these demons, okay? The demon. Yeah, the self. The Selbst. Okay. And therefore, Isaiah realized, whoa, I have unclean lips, okay? Deswegen, Jesaja hat erkannt, wehe, ich habe unreine Lippen. Yeah, so, you might have even good purposes, like these demoniacs, they wanted to entreat for mercy, okay? Also, du magst vielleicht sogar gute Absichten haben, so wie diese Besessene hier, sie wollten die Gnade Gottes bitten. Yeah, but what comes out is self and evil, okay? Aber das, was aus ihrem Mund hervorkam, war selbst und böses. Yeah, so, therefore, yeah, we are not yet fitted up to be sent, okay? Yes. Yeah. How many times did we not experience this amongst ourselves, right? How many times did we not experience yes. this? Yes, amongst ourselves. I don't know what you mean by that. Wie oft haben wir das nicht schon erlebt unter uns? Wie oft haben wir das doch unter uns erlebt, meinst du? Uh, that's like a... It's yeah, like a, mean it's a double negative, it doesn't yes. make sense. <laughs> Also, it's like, how many times did we experience this? So, uh, wie oft haben wir das erfahren? Yeah. Yeah. That uh, we, we had good purposes in our heart, okay? So, wir hatten gute Absichten im Herzen. And we wanted to address an, an issue. Und okay. wir wollten ein Thema ansprechen. And soon, as soon as we open our mouths, it's... Carnage. Yeah, it's carnage, okay. Sobald dass wir unseren Mund aufmachen, ist es eben, ja, also Chaos. Yeah. And so basically... It's because yeah, our lips are not clean yet. Okay. Because self is still alive. Weil selbst ist noch am Leben. Yeah, and we many times then do more damage than good uh, when we open our mouths. Okay. okay. So, <clears throat> and therefore we can clearly see how important it is that this demon of selfishness gets cast out of us. And it's only by the revelation. Okay. And only then we are sent to proclaim the kingdom of God. Okay. Because um, when we just go down again, uh, after the quote of steps to Christ. Also, wenn wir wieder hinunterkommen, also unter diesen Zitat von Leben Jesu. Yeah, this is not Isaiah's experience. Isaiah's experience from Beko. Also auch unter Schritte zu Christi, das ist okay. jetzt der nächste Zitat, das ist von B. B. Echo. Okay. Uh, just uh, begin in the bold faced. Und wir fangen in den fettgedruckten an. When Isaiah saw the glory of God, his soul was prostrated in the dust. Because of the unclouded vision he was graciously permitted to behold, he was filled with self-abasement. This will ever be the effect upon the human mind when the beams of the Son of Righteousness shine gloriously upon the soul. The light of the glory of God will reveal all the hidden evil and bring the soul to the place of humble confession. Uh, this hidden evil, this self, needs to be laid bare. Okay. Dieses verborgene Böses, dieses Selbst muss äh, dargelegt werden, also da offengelegt werden. Offengelegt werden dann. As the increasing glory of Christ is revealed, the human agent will see no glory in himself. For he, the concealed deformity of his soul is laid bare, and self-esteem and self-glory are extinguished. Self dies and Christ lives. So the demon of selfishness is cast out. 
And now Christ lives in you. Diese Dämonen der Selbstsucht ist hinausgetrieben und jetzt lebt Christus in dir. For the first group here and for the rest here. Für right? die erste Gruppe hier und für den Rest mm. eben hier. Okay. Good. Now let's continue. Lesen wir weiter. Um, jump over the next two paragraphs. Überspringen wir diese nächsten zwei Sätze. Absätze, meine ich. And it says then from the cliff. No, sorry, we can also jump over this. We can also the third one. Just go to DA three three nine point three. We start on DA three hundred nine thirty point three. We just read the bold face. We read only the fat part. But far different was the feeling of the restored demoniacs. They desired the company of their deliverer. In his presence, they felt secure from the demons that had tormented their lives and wasted their manhood. Next paragraph. Next absatz. Oh no, let's just read the rest of the paragraph. As Jesus was about to enter the boat, they kept close to his side, knelt at his feet, and began uh, begging, begged him to keep them near him, where they might ever listen to his words. But Jesus bade them go home and tell what great things the Lord had done for them. So he sends them. Here was a work for them to do, to go to a heathen home and tell of the blessing they had received from Jesus. So they were now sent even to the heathen. Okay. Okay. And then it says, jump down to the next the bold face. So next fact it But as soon as Jesus pointed out their duty, they were ready to obey. Not only did they tell their own households and neighbors about Jesus, but they went throughout Decapolis, everywhere declaring his power to save and describing how he had freed them from the demons. Okay, so they now gave a faithful testimony. So here they have my true testimonies upgraded. Okay, now let's go to Matthew 12. 22 to 23. Matthäus 12, 22, 23. Another story where he cast out demons or de a devil. Weitere Geschichte, wo er Teufel hinaus war. Says, Then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, blind and dumb, and he healed him, insomuch that the blind and dumb both spake and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Is not this the son of David? So, what could the demoniac here do only after the demon was cast out. So, was konnte diese Besessene nur tun, nachdem der Dämon von ihm ausgetrieben ist? Because for, for that he was blind and mm -hmm. dumb, Weil right? Davor war er blind und stumm. But when this demon of selfishness is cast out, you can now see and, and you can speak. Okay. So, aber wenn dieser Dämon der Selbstsucht hinausgetrieben ist, da kannst du sehen und sprechen. Because it's Davor war er blind und taub. After you come stumm. It's after you come out of the belly, the Lord now puts His words in your mouth, like Jeremiah. Right? Nachdem, dass du aus dem Bauch herauskommst, so wie Jeremia, der Herr tut sein Wort in deinen Mund. Okay, so very clear illustrations, right? Klare Illustration. Okay, and um, and when you just continue in the chapter of Mark chapter five, okay? Wenn du so weiter in diesem Kapitel von Markus 5 liest, uh, he does two miracles in this. In the rest of the chapter. Yeah, uh, two, two wonders in the rest of these uh, chapters. That's why it's spiritualism when you go because you're like a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You're like a, a, a medium. Medium, yes. For the demon. Yes. Uh, genau. mm -hmm. Also so deswegen is it spiritismus when you're in eigenen Kraft gehst, weil du immer noch diesen Dämon in du, dir bist. Du bist wie ein Medium für diesen Dämon yes. zu sprechen. When you go and do public evangelism mm -hmm. here on screen, yes. you, are, you are this medium that's deceiving everybody. Also wenn du öffentlich Evangelisation tust in deiner eigenen Kraft, du bist denn dieses Medium, der allen verführt. Yes, because the demon of selfishness is still in you and he will speak through you. Okay. Uh, der Dämon der Selbstsucht ist noch in dir und wird durch dich sprechen. Yes. Yes, amen. Okay. And uh, just go, and we will just finish uh, with these last thoughts. We'll just take uh, two more minutes. Okay, because here in this chapter, he then healed this woman that had an issue of blood. Also, here, jetzt in Markus 5, der heilte diesen Frau, der diesen Blutfluss hatte. And go to verse 25. Vers 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. How long? Wie lange hat sie diesen Blutfluss? Twelve years. Twelve years. And then, as she was healed, right? Und dann wurde sie geheilt. When she touched 
Es gar nicht. Als sie den Psalm seines Gewandes ja, anrührte. This is why it calls it the touch of faith. So diese Anrührung des Glaubens nennt es. Where else does somebody touch something? Und, und wo noch rührt jemand irgendetwas an? Esther, Esther touches the scepter, right? So Esther okay. rührte den Scepter an. And she got pardoned. Und sie yeah. wurde begnädigt. And then Christ goes to this um, man's daughter that was dead already. Dann okay. geht Christus zu diesen Tochter von einem Mann, die bereits gestorben ist. And he raised her from the dead, right? Er hat sie von den Toten erweckt. These dead dry bones. Diese toten Gebeine. And how old was she? Und wie alt war sie? Let's go to verse 42. Vers 42. And straightway the damsel arose and walked, for she was of the age of 12 years. And they were astonished with a great astonishment. So in 12 years what does it illustrate? So 12 Jahre, was stellt das da? I put the quote in the beginning. Uh, Samuel. Yes, it's you become. Let's just go up and let's read this quote, the first sentence. So, gehen wir hinauf, also dieses Zitat gerade hier drüber, der ersten Satz. So, it's among the Jews, the twelfth year was the dividing line between childhood and youth. One com on completing this year, a Hebrew boy was called the son of, a son of the law and also a son of God. Okay, so when you're twelve years, you now become a Son of God, right? Son. Zwölf Jahre alt bist du, wirst ein Sohn Gottes. Ja. So, and we understand, according to Galatians 4, yeah, it's when you baptize, you become a son, right? Für mich Galater 4 verstehen wir es hier, wenn du getauft wirst, wirst du ein Sohn werden. Yeah, first group here, second Erste group here. hier, okay. zweite Gruppe hier. So, therefore, yeah, it's clearly shown yeah, that unless you go through all this and you receive the revelation, this demon of selfishness is still in you. So, es ist klar zu sehen, es sei denn, dass du durch all dies hindurchgehst und erhältst der Offenbarung, dass dieser Dämon der Selbstsucht noch in dir ist. Yeah, you're still blind and you cannot speak because this demon is in you. Okay. Du bist noch blind und kannst nicht sprechen, weil dieser Dämon noch in dir ist. Yeah. And it, you need to become 12 years in order to be healed and raised from the dead. Okay. Und du musst 12 Jahre alt werden, um geheilt zu werden, um vom Toten erweckt zu werden. Yeah. So, therefore, unless you follow the clear instruction of the Lord and wait until he revealed himself to you und warte, bis er sich dir yeah, when you open your lips the demon will speak out of you okay. so yeah, and therefore we can see the folly of going forward in your own strength okay und dadurch können wir die Torheit, uh, darin erkennen voranzugehen im eigenen Kraft. And we need to wait upon the Lord and trust that he can through the revelation cast out this demon of selfishness from us. Wir müssen vertrauen auf den Herrn, warten auf den Herrn, vertrauen, dass er diese Dämonen der Selbstsucht aus uns hinaustreiben kann. Amen. Amen. Okay. Then let's keep these thoughts. So, lass uns diese Gedanken Bible beibehalten. And that soon this raging in our own hearts will be stilled. Dass sehr bald dieses Toben in unserem eigenen Herzen wird zur Ruhe gebracht. And that Christ can also say to us, peace be still. Und dass Christus auch zu uns sagen kann, Friede sei still. And in this, let's close with a prayer. So lass uns mit Gebet schluss machen. Dear Father in heaven. Lieber Vater im Himmel. We thank you that you laid out this plan of salvation so clearly for us. Wir danken dir, dass du diese Erlösungsplan so klar für uns dargelegt hast. And that we can now better and better understand why we need to wait upon you. Und dass wir jetzt umso besser verstehen, warum wir auf dich warten müssen. Because this demon of selfishness is still in us. Weil dieser Dämon der Selbstsucht noch in uns ist. And we need to receive this revelation first. For it to be cast out. Und wir haben es äh, nötig, diese Offenbarung zuerst zu erhalten, um es, dass es von uns hinausgetrieben wird. And that this peace of God can enter our souls. So dass diese Friede Gottes in unsere Seelen hineinkehren kann. That these raging waves are not in us anymore. Dass diese tobende Wellen nicht mehr in uns befunden werden. But that rather um, uh, we have purified lips and can speak forth the word of God in purity. Und anstatt dessen, dass wir gereinigte, geheiligte Lippen haben und dass wir das Wort Gottes sprechen kann in Reinheit und in, ja. And we therefore ask you to please give us the power, the strength to endure until the end. 
Und deswegen bitten wir uns, dass du uns den Power, also den Stärke gibst, dass wir bis aufs Ende ähm, aushalten können. And that we would not uh, get enticed away on this way to the goal. Und dass wir nicht auf dem Weg zum Ziel ähm, verlockt werden, dass wir davon weggehen. Or that we um, get offended by the impure words that may come against us from our brethren. Oder dass wir Anstoß nehmen werden von den unreinen Wörtern, die von unseren Geschwistern kommen. Because now we can better understand that as long as self lives in us, uh, many times we uh, is be doomed to fail if we don't hold this connection with you all the time. Und jetzt können wir besser verstehen, dass solange diesen Selbstsucht, diesen Geist der Selbstsucht in uns ist, dass wir sind verdammt zu versagen, dass wenn wir nicht ganz nah bei dir bleiben. And therefore, please help us to be long-suffering and compassionate to one another. So deswegen hilft uns, dass wir langmütig und uh, dass wir Erbarmen miteinander haben. And that we do not try to tame each other in human strength. Und dass wir nicht versuchen werden, einen anderen Menschenkraft zu zähmen. But that we would pray much for each other. Sondern stattdessen, dass wir viel mehr füreinander beten würden. And uh, that we would uh, trust that you are able to, to tame self in us. Und dass wir vertrauen werden, dass du wohl imstande bist, diesen Selbst in uns zu zähmen. And we ask and pray all these things in Jesus' name. Und wir bitten und beten all dies in Jesu Namen. Amen. 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 Amen.